I'm telling you today, listen very carefully this morning. <clears throat> this early morning, around 12.30, you know, I was fast asleep. Then my daughter came and woke me up because uh, uh, Ankit wanted to speak to me. Ankit was leaving from, to, to minister. So we uh, got up in the night and we had talked for some time. And then uh, that's it. And, oh, then uh, Ankit went left and... Uh, Everybody slept. I could not sleep. I was on the bed. And uh, I had such an encounter with God on the bed that started at 12.30 in the midnight and went on till 6 a.m. <clears throat> 12.30 to 6 a.m. It was like the Lord sitting right by my side on the bed and was talking to me. I don't care people watching me on and what you think about it. I know God speaks to me. I know our God is a speaking God. Amen. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter whether you think what you think. It doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> and I had such an encounter time with the Lord. And the Lord started speaking to me. Showing me so many things. I sat there. Opened the Bible. He was speaking to me through the word. He was speaking to me so many things. And showing me through visions. And God was speaking to me in the spirit. Took me in the spirit and showed me so many things. And I was praying. You know it was an amazing time. From 12.30 to 6 a.m., I was with the Lord. And if you look at my post, I, I, I sent you a message around 4 or 4.30 a.m. I sent you a message. <clears throat> because that was the time, you know, I knew. Let me tell something to you. My wife will be happy to hear, but I want you to know this also. God spoke to me and said to me, you know, when he was talking to me, he said to me, Son, get up. You had your ministry of healing and teaching. Now, get up. I am pushing you into the ministry of a prophet also now. <clears throat> it's not that I was, no, I, it is like, you know, it's different seasons. God brings different things into my ministry as an evangelist, as a teacher, as a pastor, as a things. And the Lord spoke to me, get ready that this prophetic will, you know, let me, I, I, I don't know whether I can, uh, whether, uh, whether I'll be able to explain everything, whether I'm able to finish everything, but just let me tell you only one sentence. <clears throat> Many people have a wrong concept about prophetic. Listen carefully. If you talk to anybody and ask them, what do you mean by prophetic? And the only thing people know about prophetic is calling out names and address and telling about the future. That's the only thing people know about prophetic. You know, when, when people call out names, and uh, you know, calling out names, and uh, you know, these were happening in my ministry from 1984. Okay, so those of you who don't know me, you don't know, those are the people who know me, they know this calling out names and address, everything is not new. In 1984, I was having all this. From 1984, I was, uh, you know, having all this calling out names, addresses of people, describing how their houses look like, etc., etc. You know, from 84, 85, I'm talking about. So, prophetic, that, that's only a part of the prophetic. If you look in the Old Testament, there are two groups, different groups of prophets. This is not my preaching, just introduction for you to know what you're going to have in the days to come. Okay, 
there are you know there are two groups of prophets when you uh, if you read in the bible we don't divide it people say major prophets minor prophets they call them we don't do god never call anybody major call anybody minor you know people, the, the theologians say like that if you look at people like isaiah ezekiel jeremiah you know nehemiah uh, nahum etc 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 especially prophets like jeremiah zechariah isaiah if you read them all these prophets they spoke about the future of israel what's going to happen in israel the judgments are going to come etc 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 but there are other level of prophets which many people don't understand you know who is the uh, one of the greatest uh, <coughs> of prophets in the old testament the greatest prophet in the old testament anybody would uh, any uh, you talk to elijah elish anybody everybody will recognize is moses correct moses is the one of the greatest prophets of old testament but if you look at moses life moses never delivered the nation is by the power of god and by supernatural so the thing is most people think prophetic means only talk about the future that is only that is initial level there is a next level of prophetic it's called walking in the power hallelujah and that's what god told me get ready son that i'm raise a generation of prophets i will raise you up to be a prophet of the nations by the power of god hallelujah so get ready in the days to come what we are going to experience is the power of god so i'm on, this is just introduction of what's going to happen what god was speaking to me and you know, all this morning the gist of what god was speaking to me so let's get the word of god let's pray father i pray in the name of jesus as we look into your word today speak to us open the eyes of all our understanding that we will know the hope of your calling us and the riches of the glory of your inheritance in us and the exceeding greatness of your power towards us who believe oh god holy spirit enlighten our eyes to look into your word for your glory in jesus name amen amen today will be very short word i'm going to preach but i i'm telling you i believe uh something as the word is released something awesome is going to explode deep within you <clears throat> why i'm saying it remember in the book of genesis bible says in the beginning god created heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void darkness was there and you know the earth was full of water but the bible says spirit of god was moving upon the waters that means no spirit of god was moving no creation happened but then when god said light be the word that came out of the mouth of god exploded something and brought creation into being similarly right now the spirit of god already moving upon all of you and the word i'm going to release right now that word will touch your life and going to explode and prepare so many things right for you in your life in the future get ready for it ah uh, somebody should say an amen. amen hallelujah so come with me let's read uh, uh, come with me first kings chapter 18 first kings chapter 18 we'll read from verse 1 onwards first kings chapter 18 from verse 1 onwards and it came to pass after many days that the word of the lord came to elijah in the third year saying go show yourself unto ahab and i will send rain upon the earth listen carefully this something very amazing you should know this put the scripture something amazing you should know that verse 1 okay sometimes i don't know whether you whether I, i don't know how to explain it to hope i can explain it clearly sometimes there is a when god tells you god god speaks to you something and when you obey the when you start doing it for a period of time for a phase of time it looks like god is not talking to you for a phase of time 
And it's not because God is angry at anybody, but God is preparing you with what He already spoke to you, so that once that preparation is over with what He already spoke to you, the next word will come to you. This is my experience when talking to you. Now look at that. Elijah was a prophet, but the Bible says here, and it came to pass, after many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. That means, for many days, Elijah did not have any word from the Lord. <clears throat> God told Elijah, famine will come. Go, I've commanded the ravens to take care of you. Then he went to the ravens. He sat there, ravens bringing bread and water. He was eating and drinking. Then the brook dried up. Then God said, now go to widow of Zarephath. She will take care of you. He went to widow of Zarephath. And there miracle happened. He stayed there in widow's house. Widow of Zarephath was eating the whole year. He was eating, feeding. He was staying there, waiting for a word when no word came to him. <clears throat> Can you imagine this? A prophet is waiting now. God, what next? I, I, I came to Zarephath. I'm staying in the widow's house. I'm eating now. She's getting her food, meal coming. I'm eating. But what next? No answer. No answer. You have to wait. There is always a time where God, when He puts a word in your heart, He waits a time where that particular word you already spoke will work in you and a season will come for a next word from the Lord. Hallelujah. This is so important to understand. <clears throat> Look at that. It says in Elijah, it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah the third year. That means, three years there is going to be famine, Elijah said. And Elijah went away. So I don't know how long, maybe first year Elijah went to Zarephath, the of Zarephath, remaining two years, no word from God for Elijah. So Elijah had to wait, 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 knowing God is preparing me for something else. The silence that you felt in your life is not negative, it is not rejection by God, it is a time that is preparing you for something big that you never experienced. <clears throat> Hallelujah. All that we do at the time is keep a fellowship with God. Keep a relationship with God. Read the word. Feed on the word. Walk with God. Just wait, wait, wait for the right time. <clears throat> now read the word. And it came to pass after many days, everybody say many days, many days. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year. That means, I don't know how many years has passed. Uh, maybe second year, no word. You know, two years, no word. He was waiting, waiting, waiting. Third year, saying, go, show yourself unto Ahab, I will send rain upon the earth. Are you ready for this? After the period of silence, God spoke to Elijah and said, put the scripture, God spoke to Elijah and said, go show yourself unto Ahab. That means the waiting time is over, time to show has come. I want to prophesy to you, over the years, or the last year and this year, whatever happened to the church, whatever happened to you, whatever happened, you're wondering why I don't know what everything seemed to be like a divine pause button is pressed. Everything is in pause. Nothing is happening. The Lord is saying unto you, I speak as a prophet of God. God is saying unto you, I am releasing the pause button. Time for you to be shown to the world. Hallelujah. Somebody say an amen to this. Somebody should say an amen to this. Time for you 
to be shown. No, look at God telling God telling Elijah, show, go, show yourself. Ha! I like it. God did not say, come on, I will take you. Go, show yourself. We tell people, don't show yourself. But when time comes, you got to show yourself. That means, your hiding days are over. It's time you're going to step out. Remember, God said, arise and shine for the light has come. Not God did not say, I will make you arise. You arise. Hallelujah. Go show yourself to the priest. Go show yourself to, to the king. Put the word, put the word, please. Go show yourself to Ahab and I will send the rain. Let me listen to this. There was a connection between rain and Elijah showing himself. If Elijah still hides, there will be no rain. When the Elijah shows himself, God will send the rain. If you as a believer, still hiding and sitting, not telling anybody you are a child of God, you are willing to post on your Facebook, on your Instagram post, the Starbucks coffee you drank, the idli you ate, and the makeup you bought, the shoe you purchased, the banyan you bought, like a superman, the underwear you bought you want to show, everything you want to post, but you don't want to post the miracles of Jesus there. You received a healing, you don't want anybody to know. You don't want to post on Facebook or Instagram, God healed me. Why? People they may mock at you. You don't want to post it. Social media is for my, you know, for my chapel I bought, my shoes I brought, I bought, the coffee I drank. But the miracles that happened in your body, in your life, you saw miracles in the church. In this church, through my ministry, you received miracles. Why is it you never write about it? Why is it you don't want to mention about it? What will people think? Let me tell you, when you don't show yourself, people will not experience rain. Elijah did not need the rain. Israel needed the rain. For the world to be blessed, nation to be blessed, church has to show itself. Enough! Church sitting scared of COVID. <clears throat> Sometimes you don't understand different believer and unbeliever. Unbelievers are scared, believers are scared. It looks like there's no difference between believers. I don't know whether you like it or not. There should be a difference between living and the dead. <clears throat> Hallelujah. There should be a difference, right? There should be a difference between a living fish and a dead fish. If you are living, there should be some difference between you and the people of the world. People of the world are scared, you are scared. They become sick, you become sick. sick. But they stop, they reduce the spending, you want to reduce your giving. You know, there is no difference. If, the, if somebody catches you, investigate you, they will not find one proof you are a believer. Not guilty, he is not a believer. <clears throat> Hallelujah, no guilty, I am released, no, I am not a believer. God said to Elijah, show yourself to Ahab and I will send the rain. It's time, church, I don't know about others, I'm nobody to talk other churches, I'm talking HSG. It's time you show yourself. <clears throat> it's time don't become a Batman going in the night time with a mask. Nobody should recognize you. Come out to public and say, I belong to Jesus. This is what you have done to me. He healed my stomach ache. He healed my knee pain. He healed my headache. He did this miracle to me. Put it up. Let the world see you. Because when you show yourself, they will have a rain. Yeah. Hallelujah. You must think, oh, mine, in the church I went, in the church my headache was healed. Headache healing testimony, 
yeah you don't know when you post it somebody will watching oh my god i have this really kind of problem you give hope to somebody stop writing about cock starbucks stop writing about coffee day start writing about what jesus did for you somebody say an amen please <coughs> put the scripture please <coughs> it came to pass many days that the word of the lord came to elijah in the third year saying go show yourself unto ahab and i will send the rain upon the earth Now listen carefully showing yourself is your responsibility sending rain is his responsibility he did not say show yourself and then bring the rain no show yourself to the ahab and i will send the rain that means when you do what is what you're supposed to do god will do what he's supposed to do also disciples went preaching everywhere and the lord worked with them confirming the word with signs following when their disciples showed themselves the lord sent the rain philip went to samaria showed himself the lord sent the rain paul went to ephesus the lord sent the rain it's time your agnatha vasa is over throw wearing mask 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 all the time life itself went into mask put the scripture please <clears throat> i will send the rain upon the earth continue and elijah went to show himself unto you have i like it god said elijah show yourself elijah went to show himself it's so simple it's so simple we make it complicated god said, elijah show yourself elijah went to show himself god told abraham leave your father so so abraham left jesus said to peter come walk in the water peter went not like you sitting today amma situation is very bad i can't look at that so beautiful and elijah went to show himself unto ahab and there was sore famine in samaria he went to show him remember this there is a sore famine in india and in the world people are experiencing famine people losing their loved ones jobs are gone businesses are gone people are crying and the churches are teaching people warning people be careful about the virus be careful about the virus stay indoors stay safe church also is telling the same thing it's famous everyone message to me believers men of god right to me stay in store stay safe i will stay indoor ah bible says arise and shine <clears throat> you are a house built up on a rock that cannot be hid from people nobody will light a lamp put it on the chair they put a lamp up on the lamp stand <clears throat> it doesn't matter if people think i'm crazy i'm fanatic i don't mind but i'm telling you i never want to sit in the house i want people to know jesus is alive the world is afraid i understand that but church being afraid <clears throat> church being afraid <laughs> somebody asked me pastor ram babu we are giving uh, gifting wheelchairs to patients how many wheelchairs you want to give i said i'm not in the business of giving wheelchairs i'm in the business of put picking people out of wheelchairs imagine gifting wheelchairs gifting crutches to people <clears throat> announcement tomorrow at chelsea church we are distributing crutches please come and collect it how stupid it looks <clears throat> i'm not talking about people wheelchair crutches but church is not supposed to give a crutch or a wheelchair church is supposed to be the answer to bring the people out of it tell them that there is a healer whose name is jesus <clears throat> it's time for a church to not to sit down but to show there is a famine there and elijah's need to appear now 
is time for Elijah to appear. I prophesy, may every weight that holding you be broken. May every fear be broken. May every reasoning be broken. May every excuse be broken. May you arise and show yourself. Let there be rain because you show yourself. Hallelujah. You know, when the cloud comes, you know it's raining. Do you know? Before Elijah saw the speck of cloud, Elijah was the cloud. Elijah's appearance is a sign it's going to rain in famine. You are the cloud. You are the cloud that people should see and say it's going to rain. Why? I see Suresh. I see Prana. I see Reuben. I see Zakir. I see Tonai. Oh, this is the cloud. I see the cloud. When the cloud appearing, hallelujah, it's time to rain. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Sakola Mariyanda Reba Kalanta Robana Karikita Raba. Put the scripture, please. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. I don't know whether I'll be able to finish, but I'm telling you, ah, the journey I had with the Lord speaking to me. Ah, glory. <clears throat> Put the scripture. Verse 3. And Ahab called Obediah, which was the governor of the house. Now, Obediah feared the Lord greatly. Now Ahab called Obediah. Everybody say Obediah. Say it again, Obediah. Okay. <clears throat> you know, so much God is speaking to me. I was just writing down, writing down, writing down quickly, quickly, quickly. I was writing down a lot of things. I'm going to try. I'm not only preach. I'm going to read from what I've written so that I will, I will, I will say it exactly correctly. I'll, I'll do it for you. Okay. <clears throat> Put the scripture. And Ahab called Obediah, which was a governor of his house. Now Obediah feared the Lord greatly. Continue. And it was so, when Jezreel cut off the prophets, when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obediah took an hundred prophets, hid them by fifty in a cave, fed them with bread and water. When Jezebel was killing the prophets, listen to this, what I'm saying, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. When Jezebel was killing the prophet, Obediah took hundred prophets, hid them in a cave, and he fed them with bread and water during the famine time. <clears throat> Understand this. Hundred prophets were fed by Obediah. One Elijah was fed by God. When Obediah fed them, he gave them bread and water. When God fed them, he gave meat and bread. Hello. When you make the world as your source, you will end up with bread and water. When you make God as your source, in famine you will have bread and meat. <clears throat> Hallelujah. That's why I'm telling you, your giving should never decrease because the recession is happening. Your giving should never decrease because you would have cut in the salary. Your salary is cut, so my giving reduced. My expenditure increased, my giving reduced. No. You are depending upon your salary. If you depend upon your salary, looking at it, you will eat bread and water. But look to God. He will feed you with bread and meat. Not one day. Twice a day, bread and meat. Morning and evening, ravens brought bread and meat. Morning and evening, two times. That means morning food, Elijah didn't eat in the evening. Every day fresh. Ravens came in the morning, ravens came in the evening. Ravens say, hey, just keep something for tomorrow. No. That's how God provides. Make God as your source. Never look to your bank account, your job as your source. I can't give because of so much of expenditure. My, reduce, my, my giving has reduced. My expenditure increased, giving reduced. No. No. God is your source. Hallelujah. Put the scripture. 
It was so Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obedia took an hundred prophets, hid them by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. <coughs> and Ahab said to Obedia, Go into the land, unto all the fountains of water, unto all the brooks, for adventure. We may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. Ahab called Obedia. Obedia was closest to Ahab. Ahab. Ahab said to Obedia, you go one side, I go one side. Let's go find out any pool is there, any pool, anything is available so that, you know, our horses need grass. Some grass we'll find. Let's go and find out. Ahab said, okay. <clears throat> and next verse. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went one way by himself. Obedia went another way by himself. Ahab left one side. Obedia went one side, searching. Now Obedia went out, Ahab went out. We'll continue. As Obedia was on the way, behold, Elijah met him. And he knew him, fell on his face and said, Are thou my Lord Elijah? Now listen to me. Elijah had to meet Ahab. But to meet a king, he needed a contact. God said to Elijah, show yourself. Elijah didn't say, God, how do I show myself? How do I go to the palace? How can I go? How do I meet the king? Elijah didn't ask anything. God told him to show myself. I'm going to show myself. He's going. And when God saw the obedience, he made an arrangement to bring Obedia in front of him. Not a chaprasi, Obedia. Obedia was so close to Ahab. Who can take him to Ahab? Obedia came. Let me tell you, hallelujah. As you step out, <coughs> hearing the prophetic word coming from a man of God today, as you come out of your shell, as you start showing, showing yourself, I am telling you, God will bring across to you the people that will take you to your right contact at the right time. <coughs> Hallelujah. You don't even need to bother about how it's going to happen. Just do it. Just do it. Hallelujah. Elijah never knew Obadiah is going to come. Elijah never asked God, God, you told me to go show myself, I'll go show myself. But the question is, God, how will I meet Ahab? How will I go to palace? Jezebel hates me. They will kill me when I go there. How do I meet? He didn't ask any question. You told me to go show myself. I'll go show myself. And God arranged in such a way that suddenly Ahab got up and said, let us go and find water. Hello, Ahab, you didn't do it. That thought came from God. <coughs> Somebody is getting a thought to come on your way. <coughs> And this contact will take you to where God wants you to go. I prophesy this as a man of God right down. There is going to be divine connections coming. Raise your hands to speak in tongues. Come on, you watching me online. Raise your hands, speak in tongues. Come on, come on, come on, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. <coughs> People watching me, come on, pray in the spirit. <coughs> Shamala da gora bala kanda la kale ba da kora ba baba rianda ra bala karaba Lord we activated we activate the prophetic word we activate the prophetic word in the name of Jesus we activate the sequences that has to happen Lord Almighty God we activate the people that have to come in our way dear Father God we activate the doors opening we activate divine connections to come in the name of Jesus shonge la bota kamari kalanda shambra bala rabelo da bora barita karaba la kandri Amen. 
Halleluja. Halleluja. Uh. You have no idea I'm telling you or not. I'm, I'm the prophet I'm carrying today. There is an activation happening as you, as you believe the word coming out of the man of God's mouth. You're catching the word. The words coming from a prophet of God coming out of the mouth. You're catching it. You know, something is activated for you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Put the scripture, please. As Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and he knew him, fell on his face, and said, Are thou that, my Lord Elijah? And he answered, I am. Go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah. <clears throat> you see? Go tell your master. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Go tell your master, behold, and the see. Go tell your master, behold Elijah. <clears throat> In many translations put, Elijah is here. Is here is added. <clears throat> it's added. So <clears throat> all that Elijah told him is, Obadiah, go and tell him, behold Elijah. That means, behold the cloud. Behold Elijah. People should say, behold HSJ. Ah, hallelujah. Behold Rambo. Behold Vinita. Behold Anika. Behold Anke. Behold Suresh. Behold Solomon. Behold, behold Roy. Behold you. That means, you know, it's amazing. God told Elijah, show yourself, correct? Elijah said, see, here I am. He didn't say, I am nothing actually. I am not the one, actually, oh, it is, I don't want to show, but actually, inactually. Huh? God should show yourself, you better show yourself. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Peter and John's crippled man, Acts chapter 3, behold, look at us, behold. Go and tell Ahab, see Elijah, I am here. You have famine, don't worry, I am here. I am the cloud. Somebody say, I am the cloud. <clears throat> say with me, I am the cloud in famine. Say, I am the rain cloud in famine. <clears throat> say it again, I am the rain cloud in famine. Come on, prophesy to somebody and say, you are the rain cloud in famine. <clears throat> I prophesy to you watching me. I prophesy to you. You are the rain cloud in famine. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Behold Suresh. Behold Reuben. Behold Rajeshwari. Behold Kusha. Behold Aryan. Behold. Say any man. Look somebody and say behold me. Tell somebody Dambi Come on, Dhammi Dhiru, come on, Priscilla, Dhammu Tishapu, Shif, come on, Ramesh, tell somebody, behold me, Naresh, tell them, behold me. Ah. Oh, Ma, behold me. Yeah, because God told, show yourself. Peter and John said, look at me, behold me. Hallelujah. If you take this word, I'm telling you, this word I'm speaking to you is an encounter I had today. God was speaking to me. If you take this serious, start showing yourself up. Though not hiding, putting forth the testimonies, putting forth your stories, putting forth what God did to you without being ashamed. I'm telling you, you will be a cloud in the famine. <clears throat> Before the real cloud appears, you are a prophetic cloud. You see? The actual cloud appeared later when Elijah was praying seven times, seven Elijah appeared. Lord. But Elijah was the prophetic cloud. The prophetic cloud produced the real cloud. <clears throat> I'm telling you, prophetic is not Chuma telling your names and things. Prophetic is so supernatural, you can shape a nation. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Moses shaped the nation. 
Elijah shaped the nation. Elisha shaped the nation. Glory to God. Put it. <clears throat> he answered them, I am. Go, tell thy Lord. Behold Elijah. Okay. He said, the Obadiah said, What have I sinned? Put an away. <clears throat> what have I done wrong? Asked Obadiah. That you are handing your servant over to Ahab to be put to death. Elijah said, Go and tell Ahab I'm here. This Obadiah is saying, what have I done? You are killing me. Why? Why did he say that? Put the next verse. <clears throat> as surely as the Lord your God lives, there is not a nation. Listen carefully. This is, ah, I'm telling you, when the Lord sat with me today and told me, because Vinita and Anika were sleeping, I I had to shut my mouth, otherwise I would have screamed and danced there, stamping on everybody. <clears throat> Put a scripture. As surely as the Lord your God lives, there is not a nation or kingdom where my master has not sent someone to look for you. And whenever a nation or a kingdom claimed you were not there, he made them swear they could not find you. <clears throat> This, I, my wife was waiting. I told her in the morning I had an encounter with the Lord. My wife was waiting. What is it? What is it? I want here. I want here. I want here. I want here. I think I should stop it now. Because this is the key. This scripture is the key. <clears throat> Put it. As surely as the Lord your God lives, understand this, people watching me online, pay attention. As surely as the Lord your God lives, there is not a nation or a kingdom where my master has not sent someone to look for you. And whenever a nation or a kingdom claimed you are not there, he made them swear they could not find you. Next verse. But now you tell me to go to my master and say, Elijah is here. Previous verse. 10 again. Okay. Something amazing. I don't know whether you saw the beauty in the scripture. I was like the spirit of the Lord was showing me from this word. I was crying. I was laughing. Trying to control myself to dance because my dog is there. I should not tramp my dog. <clears throat> my wife, <clears throat> my daughter was sleeping happily. Now my daughter command came. Now listen carefully, I want to tell you something. Please pay attention. <clears throat> Elijah prophesied there will be no rain. And then God told him, go to the brook Kerith and then Kerith dried up. Go to Zarephath, be with the widow. And now he was waiting for the word from the Lord. Right? Long term, no word. He was only sitting in the widow's house, eating, waiting, not knowing what to do. And what Elijah did not know was, when this was happening, Ahab was searching for Elijah <clears throat> to kill him. And he sent people, put the scripture, he sent like this here, the previous one, 10. There is not a nation or a kingdom where a master has not sent someone to look for you. Ahab sent people all over the nations to search for Elijah. But nobody could find him. Why? God was hiding Elijah. <coughs> God was hiding Elijah. When the pupa has to become butterfly... It has to hide for some time. Hello. When the snake has to leave the skin, old skin, it has to hide for some time. God was preparing Elijah for next mission. 
on the mission which Elijah never had before. <clears throat> I'll tell you what is it. A mission which Elijah never had before. And so for that to happen, when that's happening, see when the snake loses his outer skin, that is the most sensitive time. You can easily kill the snake because it's so painful. It's going through such pain of getting the skin out and very, very uh, delicate <coughs> situation. It can be destroyed. So God said, as you prepare, I protect you. I am hiding you. I want you to know, church, especially HSG, if you felt nothing was happening, it was because God was hiding us. Amen. Why was he hiding? Because a time of preparation. <clears throat> time of preparation is a very vulnerable time. God wants you to prepare so that when your preparation is going on, God says, hiding. Let Ahab search anywhere he can't find you. Ahab was searching for him nation to nation. Everywhere they went, they didn't find Elijah. How come? How come they didn't find him? He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. There is a secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. So whatever you experience, it's not denial. God put you in the secret place preparing for next mission possible. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Pastor Ram Babu, you said God spoke to you. Yes. You can quote my name. When God speaks to me, I always ask God for scriptures. Come with me, Isaiah 49. Let's come to Isaiah 49. Let's read from verse 1. Isaiah 49, verse 1. <clears throat> Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, you people, from far. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. Hallelujah. How many of you know God called you from your mother's womb? He knew your name, right? Okay. Say, point a figure, put a point a figure, it's talking about me. Say, say, it's talking about me. Come on, people watching me online, say, it's talking about me. Okay. Listen, no isles, unto me, and hearken, you people, from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. Okay, now, God called me from the womb. My mother's womb mentioned my name. Correct? For what? Read the next verse. And he said, and he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. What did he make your mouth like? Mouth became a sharp sword. Then what to do? In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. After making you sharp, Hiding you. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver has he hid me. Put an navy. Ragu, kelo. kelo. He has made my mouth like a sharpened sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me into a polished arrow, concealed me, hid me in his quiver again. Now, two times. He hid me, he hid me, written there. Hello? Put King James Version. <clears throat> he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hands has he hid me. He made me polish a shaft. In the quiver has he hid me. Calling you from other womb, Calling you by name. Making your mouth like a sword. And then hiding you. <laughs> Made a polished arrow. Arrow took it, made, sharpened it, hiding it. Make you like a sharp sword. 
sharp sword and the shadow of an hiding again made you sharp sword hiding made you a sharp arrow hiding why the time has not come you are not an arrow to be shoot at some pig running on the street you are not you know you are you are not a, i remember when we were children you know uh, i used to see in my near my house many children would make bow and arrow they take an arrow take the, the, the dumber tar of the road put it and put a nail a, a, a thorn and then go shoot at pigs <clears throat> you are not a arrow made to shoot pigs you are not a sword made to cut vegetable that anybody can do you have another purpose so he said i'm not going to bring you into sin now your time is coming when i'm going to expose you to sin when i tell you now show yourself wait until that time klime katre mani inde shera balari anda hallelujah he was hiding us he was he he was not hiding because you were a blunt sword because you were a sharp sword he was hiding you he was not hiding you because you were a blunt arrow because you were a polished sharp arrow hiding rusted arrows will go everywhere like abdur ragi david said some are called some are sent some just got up and went <laughs> some are called some are sent some just got up and went <laughs> god knew that there is a purpose a sharp and made you a sharp and sword there is a purpose i made you a polished arrow the times you are spending with god now i was frustrated a few days ago i told somebody i don't know who i told i was so frustrated i cried in my room said god how long is this sitting like this i want to go and preach god said relax nothing is wasted the time you spending with me i am sharpening you i am polishing you i'm sharpening you i'm polishing you whatever the devil try to do i'm hiding you from everything sharpening you and polishing you for the right season and now elijah was sharpened polished and kept hidden by god and then many days he didn't hear any word from god waiting and then the word of the lord came go show yourself to have that means the time has come take the arrow put it in the bow and that is this time now <clears throat> <clears throat> hallelujah hallelujah our time means here to be exposed ah oh, somebody said amen mark my word i'm telling you whatever rambos ministry internationally till now is different from what it's going to be from now hallelujah you don't need to look around for obedias obedias will come in search of you they will come on your way don't try to connect please can help me please can we no relax obedias will come you will come you will meet them provided you are ready to show yourself <clears throat> put the scripture he has made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand he has hid me every say hid me say with me he hid me say tell somebody you know where i was someone say you know where i was i was in a secret place i was a secret place of the most high that's why nobody could find me i'm telling you you're wondering lord i have a i have a lot of business skills why nobody is coming to me lord 
Lord, I have, I can preach the gospel so well. Why nobody's inviting me, God? Lord, I can do this. Why nobody's noticing me, God? I go, it's not nobody noticing you. You are hid. <clears throat> Don't try to open, put a window open and put it, hey, I'm here. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know how long, one year, two years, Elijah was sitting saying, the Lord, what next? Morning got up. The widow prepared bread, meal, everything. He ate, sat down. Ate, sat down. Ate, sat down. Maybe reading the law. He was going through scriptures. The law, Torah I was reading probably. Lord, how much more? How long? How long? How long? God said, wait. What Elijah did not know was Ahab was searching. <laughs> he didn't know that. I can imagine Obadiah telling him, there's not one city, one country where Ahab did not search for you. Elijah, Amma, really? <laughs> yeah. His GPS signals were cut off so that Ahab could not track him. <clears throat> People could not track you and me because our signals were cut off because God jammed the signals by protecting you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Put the scripture. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. <laughs> the shadow of his hands has hid me and made me polished shaft in his square as he hid me. Continue. And said unto me, you are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified. Hallelujah. You are my servant. You are in whom I will be glorified. Let's close with it. Next scripture. Next verse. <clears throat> then I said, see, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. <laughs> now here is the one who called from mother's womb, called by name, whose mouth was made like sword, seeing nothing happening, nobody is able to trace him out, and he's saying, I labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught. So many time waste madhe, yeshtu dina seva madhe, 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 yaar recognize madhe I have done so much, I gave so much, nobody recognizes, not coming back, I'm not, wow. That's what put an AV. But I said, I've labored to no purpose. I spent my strength in vain and for nothing. Yet what you do to me is in the Lord's hand. My reward is with my God. Next verse. But now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, my God. I am I'm, I'm honored in the eyes of the Lord and my God has been my strength. You are honored in the eyes of the Lord. Your God is your strength. Hallelujah. You think, oh, I wait, labored in vain. I gave, I didn't get any reward back. I did this, I sowed and get it back. I didn't get this, I didn't get your laboring. God, what happened to me? What happened to me? God is saying, hey, now listen to what I'm saying. I honor you. I honor you. Next verse. <clears throat> he says, it is too small thing for you to be my servant. Put King James Version. And he says, it is a light thing that you should be my servant. I labored in vain. <clears throat> I gave in vain. I came to church today. I worshipped in vain. I'm reading the word, Bible reading, praying. Nothing is happening. I'm encouraging people. Nothing is happening. God is telling, hey, listen. I honor you. You think it is a light thing to be my servant? Don't look down on what you do for the Lord. <clears throat> close with that. I'm going to close with this. I want to continue something, but let's see. 
Put an IV. He said, is it too small thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob, and to bring back those Israel I have kept? I will also make your light for the Gentiles, that you may bring my salvation to ends of the earth. Mangalada korrama lekeriyanda. Hiding days are over. Blessing the world has begun. <clears throat> I didn't hear. I didn't hear a proper agreement. Those watching me online, I'm telling you. Those watching me on Facebook and YouTube, I'm telling you, the days of God put His hand hiding you is over. Now, aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Humble yourself under the hand of God. The hand of God, under the hand, you are hidden. You are not seen. And now the season has come. The hand under which you were, that hand is coming under you now to lift you up. <coughs> Humble yourself under the hand of God so that he will lift you up in due time. The same hand under which you come will come under you to lift you up. Aha, hallelujah. It is our season. I said it is our season. It is our time. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory. God was preparing him for... A mission that he never had before. <clears throat> God is preparing you and me for a ministry, for a ministry, for a business, for a purpose we never had before. God is preparing HSG for ministry that never had before. <clears throat> I'm telling you, <clears throat> the number of messages I get from people angry with me. Not appreciate, angry with me, saying, we heard in your church people don't wear mask. We heard in your church people shake hand. We heard your church people seen outside shaking hand with people. We heard in your church, we heard your church people go lay hands upon the people. We heard you should tell your people not to do it. I tell, I, I wrote, replied back, I said, I tell people do more. <laughs> Why? Their pastor himself is a overacting man. I do more. And I can't tell my church not to do. <clears throat> no, my wife, myself, <clears throat> every day we walk morning four kilometers, evening four kilometers, we walk off morning, morning in our area. In our entire area, people know only one thing about both of us. We are the only two people, I, I, I don't mind what you say, you can talk what you want, say, if you're watching me online. We are the only two people who walk around without mask. <laughs> people ask us, Yesterday we were rocking, one elderly man said, Namaskaram sir, one elderly man. Yes, Namaskaram. Yes, sir. One day, 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 we are not afraid. Hallelujah. We are not afraid. Why? We have a promise. Nothing by any means can harm you. <clears throat> I believe what Jesus said, not what people tell me. Uh, now I know a lot of people write negatives over me. I don't mind. Welcome. But only thing is that how much of negative comments you make, I will never change. Wasting your energy. Ham nahi sudrenge. Too much anointing, I'm telling you. I'm under too much. <clears throat> as surely as the Lord your God lives, there is not a nation or a kingdom where my master has not sent someone to look for you. And whenever a nation or a kingdom claimed you are not there, he made them swear they could not find you. Okay. But now you tell me to go my master, master and say, Elijah is here. I don't know where the Spirit of the Lord will carry you when I leave you. If I go and tell Ahab, he does not find you, he will kill me. Elijah, 
you tell me i will go and tell the king but i will spread i will carry you away somewhere that means in the prophetic there is such a supernatural bodily transportation <clears throat> that's why even after elijah left when elisha came the people said permit us we will go and search for him on the mountains perhaps somewhere the spirit or dropped him on any mountain prophetic is not telling your name your phone number address there is much more to it people have not tapped into it and now is our season <clears throat> season of supernatural <clears throat> somebody say allowed amen. amen elijah was ready for next mission i am ready for my next mission part 2 moses was hidden for 40 years ready for a next mission part 2 second innings is always bigger than the first innings what is second innings next sunday <clears throat> hallelujah is the swas here swas has come okay i would like my wife to come here with me please can you get me a mic for pastor vinita vinita come we made a first ever attempt of making our first short film animation movie and the story is written by me concept story is by me who is the director i will show you later <clears throat> first you must see the movie then appreciate the director okay so we are going to release our first 3 minute animation movie that will be released in the best season now called supernatural <clears throat> this is the season okay okay let me introduce no problem let me introduce you the guy who did the direction editing and uh, <clears throat> the <clears throat> the vfx the all the you know all, all the graphics the whole movie mine i only gave him a script an idea and a concept and with that he took he created the whole whole thing okay so uh, people watching me online this movie we are going to release on the youtube okay so that you can go back and watch it again share it with people because i believe there is going to be anointing upon the video amen, amen. so <clears throat> venita <clears throat> i would like you to just pray and uh, dedicate the movie and release the movie thank you jesus hallelujah we come in the name of jesus lord we thank you oh father god for this young life Oh Father, for so us, Oh Father God, Lord, I thank you, Father God. I pray this movie, Oh Father, the short film will be a great blessing and inspire hundreds of people. Lord, we release it in the name of Jesus. Lord, as Elijah overtook Ahab's chariot, thank Oh you, Father Lord God, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father God. We would be inspired, Oh Father God. Lord, we will, Oh Father God, naturally but supernaturally, we will do great. exploits and overcome all the Amen. obstacles of father god and Amen. will do great exploits yes. for the kingdom in the name of jesus lord amen amen anika can you come and declare the movie open so that we can play the movie S- declare supernatural movie open it's just the beginning okay there is always a beginning there is always a first time declare that i declare open 
the movie supernatural animation movie supernatural i declare the the supernatural movie to be released okay please go ahead <clears throat> sit down go ahead please lights off all the lights off all the lights off volume good audio lights off on the stage blue lights lights off the blue light on the stage switch off good volume audio play the story is flash is the fastest runner according is faster than superman so flash wants to see he comes back to see the ledger days and sees a have running with two using chariot going fastest and he says i am faster so he overtakes and hand of god comes up on elijah he overtakes not only i have he overtakes flash also that means when super comes on natural you are supernatural <coughs> that means you are unbeatable 
Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what the world has. What you have is something greater. So get ready for your supernatural. Give a big clap to Swaz please for the wonderful work done. <clears throat> and at this time I want to take, make mention of this. I, I told, you know, Jonah one thing. I told him, you know, I don't know if you know, how many of you know, the way this guy and his family landed up in the church. One Sunday I was ministering, I was preaching, prophetically God revealed me a name. I called out a name and said, somebody watching me online, you have a pain like this, you are healed. And then that somebody right, said, yeah, I'm healed like this. Then as I began to, God began to reveal to me. So I said, I called his wife's name, I called his uh, <coughs> family name, I called his son's name. His name is, everybody call him Suas, I call him Jonah because the name God gave me is Jonah. His name is Jonathan, Suas Jonathan. So everybody call him Suas. I, God gave me name Jonah. I said, who is Jonah in your house? Then they said, yeah, there's a guy. And I said, Jonah, somebody is making, I see him making some short news, short videos and movies he's making. And, you know, I, th I didn't know where they were from. Then, they, the, then that his dad said, yeah, my son is like this, he's making short movies. I said, where are you from? He said, we're in Bangalore. Oh, Bangalore, can you come and see me? In one hour's time, whole family landed up in the church. <clears throat> so, you know, when I saw him, the way I gave him an idea, the way he built the idea, I said to him, you know, creative, this, this is VFX is a creativity. Amazing. So, uh, you know, many people want to learn guitar, keyboard, drums, all the very important for ministry. But for ministry, even the graphics and video and VFX is important. So, I told him, why don't you start a, tra a teaching program so that those in the church who want to be taught, into the VFX and uh, you know, you want to be ta taught in creativity, VFX and graphics. You know, he will take classes for you. You know, like a paid tuition classes where you can learn from him online how to do VFX, how to do the graphics, you know, how to do all that you can learn from him. And so, uh, you know, after service is over, he'll be there. And then we're going to put your details on the screen also for people to watch it. You know, you can, you can wherever you're watching from India, anywhere, he can get connected to uh, Suas. You can, you can, he can teach you online, practically how to do graphics, how to do VFX, special effects, you know, how to do all that. He will teach you everything. So you can get in touch with him. And maybe <coughs> Jackson, if you can uh, put his uh, phone number, Suas phone number, so people watching me online, you can take his number, take a screenshot of the number, you can call his number so that, you know, you can be trained personally how to make graphics and VFX. Because there's a big field out there for VFX. You know, you can, you can make a career out of it also. You can make a big career out of it also. <clears throat> so the number will become on the screen. Church people also, there's no age to learn. You can be 40, 50, 60, 10, 15, 12 years. Anybody can learn. So I would encourage you. Bring out your creativity out of you, which you don't know you have, bring it out. Contact him. He will, you know, I told him, he said, teach from basic. That is, even if you don't know how to write A, B, C, D of computers and graphics, he will teach you from there. Correct, Jonah? He will teach you from A, B, C, D also. If you don't, you don't, need, you don't need to have any, any idea about graphics. You're totally, you know, if you are, uh, if you are, uh, uh, selling onions, you can learn graphics. You don't need to have any previous knowledge of it. So get in touch with your service is over and the number will be on the screen. Can you post it? Jackson, can you post his number on the screen? And you can take a screenshot of his number on the screen so they can call him if service is over. You, you, can, you can WhatsApp him. You can, you, can, you can learn online from a child of God. I'm telling you, if you know me, I don't recommend uh, somebody who cannot. I recommend you 100%, take my word, mark, you know, if you trust me, believe me, just call the number, get in touch with him, he will train you beautifully. Contact number, Swaz Jonathan, that's the number. You can take, a, people watching me online, you can take a screenshot of it, you can take a screenshot of his number and text him or call him so that he can teach you. Don't ask for free coaching. No, you have to learn, you have to pay and learn. There's no question of anything free, you have to pay and learn. Only when you pay, you know the value of it. 
Okay, so make sure, be bold to learn. Even if you don't know anything about graphics, anything about computers, learn from him. He will teach you. Right? God bless you, Jonah. Give a big clap to Jonah, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hallelujah. And uh, uh, Jackson, what is the link of this movie? What is the title of the movie? Link so that people can watch on YouTube. Say it again. Yeah, we'll po people watching me online will post the link on the Facebook so that you can watch it, you can share it, you know, you can, you can share it, the idea how the hand of God comes upon you, you are unbeatable. When the, remember this, when the super comes a natural, you will be supernatural. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's worship the Lord, get into communion time. Time to worship the Lord. Come on, worship him. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray after the communion. I'm going to pray and release a blessing and breakthrough. Wait for the final prayer where I'm going to pray for a breakthrough to come so that whatever word you heard from the Lord, prophetic, prophetic word you heard, may it be activated as I pray with you after the communion is over. Get ready to worship the Lord together. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, teach your team to worship the Lord, please. Actually, Jonah, a lady contacted me from Australia. After I post, put the post, we are releasing a, the animation movie. She contacted me. She is a movie producer and she is also into, she is award winner, something like that. She said, Pastor, I think we should talk. I said, sure, send me your DM details. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Jesus is supernatural. What you're holding in your hands is natural, bought in a shop. But when you pray, super comes unnatural. 
it becomes supernatural because the communion is supernatural when people took it unworthily they became sick weak and they died natural who will die taking a bread and wine <coughs> because it's supernatural people who took it unworthily died but because supernatural we take it knowingly knowing the value of the lord's body and so supernaturally we are healed we are healthy we are made whole we are strong and we will live long hallelujah father we thank you for your body and the blood the body broken for us blood shed for us we do this in remembrance of you you said lord the bread you break is a fellowship with the body and the cup blessing you bless is fellowship with the blood so lord because we cover fellowship with the body and the blood and we take it lord over the design of the lord's body i claim supernatural health wholeness physical strength long life we cancel sickness we cancel weakness we cancel diseases we cancel pains we cancel untimely deaths we cancel accidents in the name of jesus we thank you father in jesus name amen go ahead, please Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. <clears throat> Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So kola malakari and let's pray together. This is a very important time. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah Lord Hallelujah Thank you Lord for your presence Father thank you for the word you have spoken to us today A rhema prophetic word Lord I want to thank you for hiding us all these days thank you for making us a polished arrow and keeping us like you are ready to be launched on the bow and to be shot thank you for making us a sharp sword hiding it so you can bring it out to use it chop every work of the enemy dear god we thank you for awesome mission you kept for us ahead of us new season of our life where we show ourselves and we will be the cloud that bring the rain in the name of Jesus lord i pray for everyone right now watching me agreeing with me those who agree with the prophetic word as a prophet of god i say brought to people as the receive the prophetic word i declared i agree with them and in the name of jesus i prophesy their season of hiding is over is season for them to be seen shown and exposed to the world so that they will say behold elijah behold the cloud that we are the prophetic clouds that lasher natural rain of god almighty god in the name of jesus in the famine we are the cloud of hope for the people so lord let no one sit hiding themselves as for come forth right boldly publicly what god had done in our lives not afraid of god almighty god we are not ashamed the gospel of jesus christ the lord cover your precious every on the precious blood every sickness a rebuke in jesus name every disease a rebuke cancer die sickness die every tumor die breathlessness come out missing organs be created new hands new legs new eyeballs new uterus new ovaries let them be created in jesus name i speak create miracles happen lord i declare release the power in the prophetic in the name of jesus 
I speak a miracle to happen for your glory. We thank you. Our new season is begun. And our Obedia is coming on our way. We will meet our Obedias whom you sent. Who will take us. Usher us in the purpose of God. We will not search for Obedia reaching out to them. They will come in search of us. Like Aaron came in search of Moses. Obedia met Elijah. Our Obedia will meet us. I prophesy his feet to be led in your direction in the name of Jesus. I thank you, worship you. I give you glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, everyone say Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God bless you. Remember the word. I would encourage you. Come back again. Play the video. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. Because one hearing will be information. More than two hearings will come. Bring a revelation. Here again, 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 again. And remember this Wednesday. We are midweek manna with Pastor Jim from US. Amazing anointed man of God. He'll be knocked by the power of God. On Wednesday, we have the we're coming up. On Tuesday, we have YouTube Canada program called Hosa Vadabadike Parlok Raja New Testament in the Kingdom of Heaven. And on Friday, we have Evangelist Mike Franson with us at 8 o'clock. Don't miss all the programs. Hear the word again. Don't hide yourself. Elijah, God said, Elijah, show yourself. Elijah come to show yourself. God spoke to you through his servant. I told you as a prophet of God, show yourself. If you hide yourself, you will not get the rain. Time for you to show yourself. God bless you. I love you. Remember, you are the cloud the world is waiting for. Amen.